Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Christina. Today's video is going to be my January favorites video. Very excited for this one because I have been paying close attention to all of the things I've been loving this month and I hope that you guys are excited or just as excited as I am for these products. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I upload. The first favorite of the month is this foundation. This is the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation, and I used this in a video before. I think it was two videos ago. The one thing that really threw me off with this foundation was the scent. The scent of this foundation is bad. It's a very chemical-like scent. It's reminiscent of paint, and I just don't like it. Like, when you're applying it, you can really, really smell it. It lingers until it's completely dry, which I would say doesn't take very long, I have to admit, which is why I can bear to wear it. The finish of this so beautiful. It makes your skin look super, super healthy. I would say it's a light to medium coverage. I like to wear this to work or on just regular casual days. My shade is MN3 right here. It's a perfect shade for my skin right now. It lasts all day and like I said, it's not full coverage. So the coverage that it gives you on first application is what you're gonna have throughout the entire day and I really really do like that anytime that I wear foundation I must set it with a powder or else my oils will just destroy it so the powder that I've been reaching for all month long to set that and also just my concealer my under eyes or all over my face really has been this powder this is the hourglass veil translucent setting powder it gives your skin a sheen but also sets it and makes it look airbrushed almost and the packaging of this is honestly genius so the cap actually has this dome right here which prevents the powder from spilling all over the place it has a little sifter in the letter h right there and it's kind of hard to get the powder out but honestly whenever i'm setting just under my eyes it lets the perfect amount of powder come out. So the way that I get the powder out, I close the lid or keep it closed. I kind of shake it like that, and then any powder I want is gonna be right in the center of the cap, and also there's some excess right there. I think it's a really, really great powder. There's no scent to it really. Even though I have oily skin, I never want my skin to just look matte because I feel like with my skin tone right now, I'm very light for what I normally am. So I feel like I'm pale and I'm flat matte. I just don't like it. So I definitely want a little bit of health in my in my skin so hence the foundation and also this really really great powder it is expensive but i find that i don't go through powders very often i actually don't even remember the last time i went through an entire powder so i'm hoping this lasts me a good amount of time the next complexion type of product that i have is this one this is the urban decay naked skin one and done hybrid complexion perfector it gives you the coverage that a light foundation would but it feels light like a bb cream i love this type of packaging i love this squeezy tube i love the pump it's just it just makes so much sense to me my shade is the shade medium i did think that I was medium dark and I put it all over my face and it was a lot darker than I expected so I ended up going back and exchanging it for the medium shade which fits me very nicely. This one I would say has more coverage than that physician's formula foundation but not a lot more so I would say this is a good medium coverage and I can build this on my skin and it doesn't look cakey. So my next two products are actually brushes. This one is the ColourPop F2, I guess it means face 2, and this is the blush brush. Mine is dirty because I use it literally every single day. It's such a good blush brush. I usually use a bigger brush for my blush, but I've noticed that this one gives you so much control and it just places the blush exactly where you need it. I just kind of dig into my blush and then give it a light tap or like blow on it to get the excess product off because I don't like super super pink 
pigmented cheeks really. Um, I'm just kind of getting into more pigmented or more colorful blushes, so I really like a light coverage. And this one, honestly, I can just tap it on there on the cheeks and just do a quick tap, tap, tap on both cheeks and it looks so good and it doesn't get the product all over my face. Like, do you ever have that brush that you like to use and kind of like diffuse it on your skin but then you look back like or in in natural daylight you look at it and it's literally like blush like <laughs> on the side of your face i've had that happen to me one too many times i get a little crazy and i don't realize that it looks nice in the airbrush like in my bathroom lighting but then outside it looks like I got smashed by like a dodgeball you know <laughs> this is the Sigma tapered highlighter brush this is an f35 so it's definitely um, less dense it tapers up right in the center right there and it just how do I explain this because it tapers up it literally gets product on all parts of my cheek that I put it down on. I know that sounds kind of weird, but listen. The tips of the shorter bristles will hit your cheek, like right down here, but it'll also get the top. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that it covers more of your cheek and it just kind of, it helps you diffuse the highlighter so nicely and then you can get really really precise with where you want to put it like for instance I like to put highlight under my eyebrow I can just take the point of this and just put it under my eyebrow without worrying about it messing up my um, eyeshadow or messing up my brows if I decided to do it I really like to put uh, highlight on the sides of my forehead I can just brush it up well, I mean, I kind of do this because I don't want like two highlighter antennas <laughs> on my forehead. This is an amazing brush. I was stuck to my Morphe, what is this? I actually have it right here. I was stuck to this brush, my Orf Orphe. <laughs> so I was stuck to my Morphe M510 brush for months, maybe even over a year. I still love this brush. It is still an amazing brush, but this has been what I've been using all January I think also all of December, I can't remember. My next favorites, I'm very excited for. Listen, these are a game changer for me. They're everything that I've needed a lipstick to be this month. What I'm talking about are these. You guys might have seen my video. If not, I'll link it down in the description below. I swatched all of these lipsticks. These are the L'Oreal Paris Rouge Signature Lip Inks. I believe I said that correctly. These are amazing. They feel so light on the lips. I'm wearing this one right now. This is I Explore. My hands down favorite one of the bunch so smooth feel like water feel like a very light oil because they're moisturizing they last so nicely all day for me and they do start to fade and when they do fade they fade so evenly this one and i don't the orangey red i wore it in the video that i swatched all of them in like the talking portion of it i wore that one holy oh, so beautiful. I love it so much. And actually, I was featured on Influencer's Instagram wearing that lip shade. Mm. Mm. That lip shade deserves all of the credit that it's getting. I can't find it though. It has to be in one of my purses somewhere. Um, they are drugstore. They are a little more pricey for drugstore. I think, I believe they're around $12.99. My next favorite is actually a lip product as well. This one is a gloss. This is the e.l.f. times Alyssa Ashley lip gloss. It is in the shade Nude Rose. It's more of a brownie pink. It's ridiculously pigmented. It's kind of like a gloss lipstick. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it so much. I'll just pop this on and it looks so beautiful. I like to kind of put it on the center of my lips and then use my finger to blend it out if I don't want it to be as intense as this. It has a very light sweet scent, but it's 
Yeah, it's barely noticeable. It's kind of more vanilla scented. You guys know that I really love rich pinky browns like this. They're just my go-tos. It's not sticky at all. I really love the way that it makes my lips feel more moisturized throughout the day. I actually wore this lip shade in my e.l.f. vs. Tatcha primer video, and it's super, super affordable. I bought mine on e.l.f.'s website, but I believe it's also available at Target and Ulta and all the other places that e.l.f. is available at. My next favorite I've actually had since... I want to say since May of last year and I haven't been using it as much as I want to or should up until recently and it is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. At first they released it and it was limited edition and people loved it so much that they brought it back permanently and this is the shade right here. Mine is actually very dirty but you can't tell because the camera's not picking it up which I'm really glad about because it looks really gross. And the reason why I wasn't using it very often was because in the summertime I was very tan and it just didn't really show up on my skin very well but right now I am the perfect complexion or skin tone for this bronzer and I'm obsessed with it. So it smells kind of like sunscreen. That that seems really weird. Yeah, I would say it smells like sunscreen kind of coconutty. It smells good. I mean, it's not super scented like the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzers. Those are super scented like coconut. This is a little more subtle and I like to use my e.l.f. stipple brush to apply this and it gives me the nicest bronze. It's blendable, it's buildable, it never looks like too much. If ever I want more of a contour look, I can either use this to really build it up or go in with a more dark bronzer and just contour right there but I will always use this to just warm up my entire complexion and then use something else to contour with. Also there is a lot of product in this. I can't see myself using all of this up. I'm gonna try to use the crap out of this before I get more tan and I can't use it again until like next winter but there's a lot of product in here. It's definitely a very expensive product but I think that it's worth it for the amount that you get and for just how beautiful it goes on to the skin. My last favorite is actually the most recent favorite that I have found and I had to mention it in this video. This is the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Neutral Brown. I have the package right here because Oh, it does say it on there. I didn't think that it said it on the pencil. It's so comparable to high-end pencils. I hate when spoolies kind of have the tapering where it's like fatter on the center and then it, it tapers. I like when it's just all one width and it looks like that, basically. I love that because then I can just brush up my brows without worrying about getting the product like on my skin. Whenever I go and I do my brows and I'm like, kind of not paying attention and I brush up and whatever, I get like the little spoolie marks like <laughs> right underneath my brows and then I realize it later on. Thankfully, I realize it usually before I see anybody, but sometimes I'm just like, oh, that's, that's not a cute look. So I appreciate small spoolies like that. Super, super thin pencil. The color is so nice. It's not too dark. This is the color right here. Oh, can you see that? This pencil is a little harder. I would say if you've ever used the L'Oreal Brow Precise pencil, the thin one like this, I really like that and I was using that for months and months and months, but this one is a little more solid. It creates the nicest, cleanest looking brow lines. If you're into feathery brows, this is a really great product. And also, very inexpensive. I believe this is about $6 on Elf's website. I actually also picked it up at Target the other day because I saw it and I was really excited and I was like, oh my gosh, I can stock up. So I grabbed like two or three just to start off because I really, 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 really like this pencil. Okay, so I lied. I have one more product. It is this dry shampoo. This is the BB Pret a Powder dry shampoo. This is the spray version. They first came out with it in a powder bottle form and I had like a little sample of it but 
I really prefer the sprays. I feel like it really evenly distributes the product that way. Funny story about this product. Um, I went on a trip to Nashville with my boyfriend early in January. The one thing that I forgot to pack was uh, dry shampoo. And I actually didn't plan on washing my hair at all <laughs> while we were on our trip. It was like a four day trip. So I washed it the night before we left. And then I realized I didn't have my dry shampoo. So I was like, crap, what am I gonna do? I have to go somewhere. So luckily one of the places that we stopped um, to take some photos because Nashville, y'all have like the best murals, I just gotta say. But one of the places that we stopped at um, the mural was actually on the side of a salon. So I went into the salon and thankfully they had this dry shampoo and I actually wanted to try this out for a very long time. Um, but I just couldn't get myself to buy an expensive dry shampoo because I use dry shampoo religiously. I never wanted to pick up this bottle cause it's, or I think around $30, but I was desperate. So I was like, well, hey, best time to pick it up is now, I guess. And I'm so glad I did. It smells so nice and fresh. I don't know what the scent is. It's kind of floral. It makes your hair smell good and like feel very very light bought this went into the bathroom in the salon sprayed my hair up and it looked amazing some dry shampoos can really really build up on the scalp this one it does build up if you keep using it for a couple of days but for the first like i want to say two days it feels really great and i've gotten into the habit of spraying it into my hair letting it sit for a couple minutes and then i'll take my brush and kind of like brush up my scalp and then brush it down and it distributes the product really nicely very evenly doesn't leave any white residue in my hair i want to buy it again but it's just so expensive and i have other dry shampoos so maybe I'll finish those up and then treat myself to another bottle of this because it's just so nice. Okay, everyone, and that is everything for this video. I would love to know what you guys have been loving in January and just more recently. If there's any products that you think that I should try out that you love, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to try out more products because that's just what I do, I guess. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.